All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. But first, I would like to thank everybody that followed me on Twitter and um, Instagram yesterday. Make sure y'all go do that. If you're not following me on those, make sure you follow me on those so we can get it in for my gym star. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Look, man, make sure y'all follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As always, a lot of shenanigans, a lot of craziness, a lot of all this stuff. And if you don't do nothing else, make sure you go over here to the site and get you one of these shirts, man. Check it out, man. We got the Pump Day shirt. We got a, a look at the Living Blessed. Uh, you know, we got the, uh, this right here, man, the NFL collection. I got to put all the NFL teams in here, man. But, but they will all be here. Hey, I'm locked in. I ain't got nothing else to do, man. The Baby Yoda NFL collection. Why is this not loading? This supposed to load. There we go. So, like, right now, we just got the Steelers and, and the, uh, and the Kansas City Chiefs, man. The Chefs. But, uh, you know. Make sure y'all go check that out. The baby Yoda, he, he looking like that because he's green and I got a green screen going, okay? So so just know that. But, and if you want a different team, just, just tell me what different team you want. Or you can go in and customize your own shirt. You know, do all this stuff. Check, Just check through all the stuff, man. Hey, look, man, you want a drunk? No, I don't want that. I don't want that. But, hey, it is what it is, though. We gonna go with this right here just for the sake of saving time, man. Go in, crop it out. Show us what you want. I don't want that, man. Hold on. Let me pick Let me pick something else. All right, we're going to pick this number right here. Boom. Whatever you want, man. Go in, pick something, choose it, crop it, size it, place it, check it. It's there. Put it on anything you want, man. Hoodies, all this stuff, man. Jersey. No, we're not Jersey, but these are just um, uh, tank tops and stuff, man. Man, we got it all right there, man. Look, man, who else putting on... For the community like that you basically making your own custom shirt for uh for next to nothing man breeze tees link down in the description go ahead and holler at your boy um and uh instead of getting stuff out like the same day it's gonna be like a one day delay because i have to get it shipped now i used to have a place where i could just walk straight in and just get the stuff now you know because of because of everything that happened because of dosekis i can't do that up first man check it out man my boy sweet vindication my guy sid six Seven. And his squad are the MSI. I guess it's the first half champions of mid senior season tournament wins the MSI. We'll just read right here. GG's just uh, for a great championship series. Uh League of Shadows. The League of Shadows wins the MSI tournament two to one. Now, they really should have twinned them. I'm not gonna lie. Because they had them on the ropes and they had they had beaten them pretty much the second game and all of that stuff. But they got into a little, you know, it got heated a little bit. It got into a little argument. You know, when you're playing games like this and this much is on the line, you're going to have disagreements about how things should go or this or that. And, uh, you know, that, that hey, look, the disagreement got out of hand. They lost the second game. I feel like they wouldn't even lost the second game. They would have blasted them guys the second game. Oh, y'all can't see that. Uh, they would have blasted them the second game. Uh, the same thing they did. You know, the first game they won. 75 to uh, 60 the second game it was uh 68 43 oh, that might have been the first game they might be transposed either way they won the first game and they would have won the second game but they had a little disagreement um and then they came back but see the thing is everything happened for a reason and if they hadn't have lost the second game y'all would have missed out on one of the greatest motivational speeches of all time we see it let's listen Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hopefully, hopefully this ain't no copyrighted music in the background, and I don't catch a copyright from this. But let's see what's going on. Bruh, lads, we're going to need you out there to be yourself out there. Be at your best. We don't need that crazy shit, man. We can't deal with that right now. No, nobody can deal with that. We got to go out there and win this game, bruh. Tell them, Sid. Calm yourself down. And let's go win this game. You and Aqua get out there. Whatever it is that y'all talked about last game, it's over. Y'all have to go out there and y'all got to play the damn game. Hey. Play it the way that y'all play the game. Y'all know how the fuck y'all play the game. That's right. We've been playing the game like this with each other for years. Now get out there and do what it is that y'all motherfucking do. That's right. And win the damn game. Tell them something, Sid. Y'all not supposed to be arguing. 
Y'all are brothers in this shit. That's right. We've been playing years together. Tell him, see it. You gotta lift your brother up, not tear your brother down. That's right. Lift your brother up. That's the problem with a lot of shit in the world now. People want to tear their brother down. That's they right. Tear their brothers down. Lift people, your brothers up. People don't want to tell you what you're doing right. They want to say what you're doing wrong. Up. You go out there and you beat a fucking defensive duo that I know you motherfuckers are. That's right. And you proved me right because I've been talking nothing but great things about both of you motherfuckers. So you go out there and you hey. prove me right. Do You're it right. for me. I put my neck out there on the line for all of you, and I keep doing it. Now y'all go out there and y'all play defense like how I know y'all fucking play defense, and y'all do it. All right. That thing got me. Boy, that thing. Let's go. Boy, that thing, that inspirational, boy. That thing got you want to run through a wall. Got you want to run through a wall for Sid. But anyway, man, like I said, they had a little disagreement in game two. Sid gave that awesome motivational speech, which is probably one of the most underrated parts of Sid's game is that he's a leader. See, some people like their fake lead. Some people like their fake no basketball. Some people like their fake coaching, all this stuff, man. This guy right here, he is a leader. Whether it's by assertiveness or by actions. Sid is going to lead. And just like you said, like, look, in the middle of that game, he wasn't able to get him to calm down and all that stuff. Sometimes it's going to be like that, man. You're going to have issues on the court, off the court. When you play with people, you're in close proximity with people a lot. Disagreements are going to happen. It's just inevitable. It's nothing you can do about it. But having somebody that can just get everybody to, to, to refocus and regain perspective and realize that, bro, this is not about you. This is not about me. This isn't about any of that stuff. What this is about is winning this championship and proving everybody wrong. They said, bro, they said that we wrecked players. They said that we just legends. They said that we ain't good. They said that all we did was grind my career in the park and wreck and all this stuff. And they asking, who did we beat? That Why did you pick this team? You know, you don't deserve to be in the league and all of that good stuff, man. And then to, to come out here like you can't blow chances like this to prove that you belong somewhere. And just like people said, well, y'all got this and that. Oh, you know, we would have beat y'all and all that. But y'all didn't even make it into the tournament. So how you going to, how, how can you even say that, man? You know, it is what it is. Every year you got something, man. I don't like hearing all that other stuff. Sid came in. This is my dog, man. He, hey, look. He came in. He should have been in the NBA 2K League since 18, right? But, like I said, when I did that video a couple of weeks ago, I did, you know, about all the shenanigans and everything that you got to go through to get there. He hadn't played in WR. He played in the comp scene. He's been playing comp for years, man, since 16, man. All right? Or probably before then, but that I know of since 16, trying to qualify for the big tournament and all that. Then 17, 18, 19, and now I win 20. He's been playing comp for all this time. And then people people like, like well, you know, y'all haven't played anybody. Who, who have you played? You haven't beaten anybody. Blah, 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 this and that. Okay. He kills in the combine. See, it's, it's going like by probably like 15 assists, maybe 30 points, sometimes 40 points. Killing in the combine. Shooting the unreal percentage. All that stuff, right? And then doesn't make it. Don't even make like the draft pool or whatever because of the politics of the whole thing. Now, I don't agree with the politics of the whole thing, but we know that there's sometimes politics and you have to abide by the politics of the game. Meaning, if you wanna go to the NBA, you probably better go through college. You're gonna have to go show yourselves in, in another league or something like that. Very few people are gonna just come straight out of high school. So I key in this to that. They can pretend that they don't know who you are if you're not playing in like the WR league, if you're not playing in these other leagues. They can pretend Keyword pretend. They know who the fuck Sid was, man. Come on, man. Everybody know who this dude is. Everybody know that he's been killing for years, but they like to pretend because he's not in this league or that league that we don't know who you are, who have you beaten, what have you shown. Now that he's done this, what they gonna say now? See, you fuck, you fucked up now. You know you fucked up, right? You know y'all fucked up, right? You shouldn't have let him in. See, if you had to let him in the league, then you could have pretended that you didn't know who he was and blah, 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 and all of this. What you thought was going to happen was he was going to come in, fall flat on his face because he ain't that good, and then y'all going to be able to say, see, this is why you didn't make it. But all he does is keep proving y'all wrong at each level. If Sid ain't the first, ain't like the first, I ain't going to say, should I say, fuck it. If he ain't the first overall pick next year, then damn it, something, something is goddamn wrong. And Carol Baskin is probably, probably behind it. 
I bet that bitch Carol Baskin. I'm, I'm fooling. I'm joking. I'm joking, Carol. Don't sue me. Cause we know your we know you use your money to crush people and sue people. Don't, don't, don't. I'm just joking. I just I just watched. If y'all if y'all watch Titan King, y'all. I bet that that I bet Carol Baskin is behind this. But now nah, seriously though. See, it's no way that Sid should not make it into the league in the first round. I ain't gonna say first overall pick, but he should definitely be a first round draft pick next year. Uh, Lag out should definitely be there. Lag out gotta get his attitude together though, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, like you can't just blow up and fly off the handle like that. Compose yourself until the end of the game. And then once it's over with, then you know you get it right or don't. And then you just won't get drafted. You gotta make a change, brother. I'm just letting you know, you, you got, like you're a great player. I mean, not, your talent is not the thing. But some players don't make it to the NBA or to the next level because of their attitude. I don't want that to be you. So I would say, you know, just change the attitude a little bit. You can't be one of those people that nobody can say something to. And if you want to, and if you want to continue to be that, that's fine. But just don't bitch and cry when you don't make the league. Because if you continue the way that you're doing, you're not going to make the league. Period. Nobody cares how good of a player you. You see Antonio Brown ass is on the bench right now, right? Looking for a team. It'll be just like that. You see how T.O. used to struggle looking for a team sometimes, even though he had phenomenal talent. It'll be just like that. You can't have a bad attitude and nobody can say anything to you. And then, you know, you're just going to blow up and fly off the handle like that, man. You're an awesome player, phenomenal player, big part of the reason that they won. I ain't, ain't no, nobody taking that away from you, but you got you to gotta get that attitude in check. At least until the game is over. Say what you got to say behind closed doors, but you can't cost your team a win because of something like that. That's just all to it. So I just say you just got to change your attitude, and Lag out is definitely a first-round draft pick too. Or don't change your attitude, and then you just won't get picked. I mean, it's real simple. You got to. Anyway, man, check it out, man. Up to, oh, up next, man, we got the division, man. Look, cheating. Uh, my, my boy, he uh, the shark tweeted me this, man. He said... Immediate response to cheating, glitching, but for some reason the state of the, the state slash economy of the game or player enjoyability don't seem to be at the forefront of the Dares of 2K. And pretty much what they're saying is, uh, I guess some, uh, like we're just gonna say accounts. We we recently we were recently made aware of a bug that can that could be exploited and allow players to increase their damage to uh, to an unintended amount in accordance to our code of conduct. We will suspend accounts of, of, of those who have systematically exploited this to, I mean, uh, this so-called DPS glitch in order to gain an unfair advantage, uh, in-game advantage. Uh, this, the, the use of this exploit has negatively impacted the, the games, economy, leaderboards, been hugely deter, uh, detrimental to the PVP and has negatively affected the enjoyment of the game. For many. Look, that right there, the first paragraph is the only thing that you need to see, man. The, the last part is, look, damn all this, the game's economy hugely detrimental in the PvP has negatively affected the enjoyment of the game for many. This screams out demigods glitch to me, man. When the demigod glitch was out, it was, it was, it didn't affect the leaderboards and all that. It could indirectly, but really it was just saying like, look, it, it's, it's messing up my enjoyability for, I mean, uh, enjoyment of the game. And and it's something that should not be in the game. People were exploiting it. 2K don't even, but see the thing is, 2K doesn't even acknowledge that these things happen. To write a statement, you have to acknowledge that something has actually happened. 2K doesn't ever acknowledge anything like that. They act like it didn't happen. They just, they just patch it and they keep on going. When people go in and they exploit gold rush, they just patch it and keep on going. They don't even acknowledge it. They give out the suspensions and stuff, but they don't tell you anything about it. When people did that with uh, boot camp, same thing. They don't even acknowledge the glitch. They just keep on going. So to, to write a statement like this and to address things in a timely fashion, you actually have to address and admit that there is an issue. 2K will never do that. So we will never get this type of response to these things because the only thing they're gonna do is wait to the next patch and fix it then. I wish that we had responsiveness like this, but uh, you know, it is what it is, man. That's how that's how 2K and Take Two Interactive choose to uh, do their business. So we're gonna let them do their business like that. Oh, uh, last but not least, man, your boy, my boy, Brian Mazik. How one NBA 2K stream drew almost 800,000 viewers over the weekend. Now, if you're not familiar with what happened, 
We had, uh, you know, you had Team Troy Dan versus Team Cash. Cash had LD2K, Agent, Duke Dennis, and I'm Davis. And, uh, wait, hold on, I'm lying, I'm lying. Cash had Ticino, Agent, LD, and I want to say he might have had Davis or he might have had, I, I don't know who all was on each team, man. Let me see, let's see if they got it out of there. Anyway, these guys, along with the stream that Troy Dan put up, you know, they they, they were able to, to, to put up some big numbers. Obviously, people are watching the guys and not actually 2k so even though the even though the video that you know because the video that troy dan put up is really where the bulk of the views came from they've had about a hundred thousand concurrent viewers this is not something that's saying oh 2k's back is spiking it's all that this is more something that's like this is more something like damn you know if the people who have the juice in the community would endorse this game more then we would have more viewers and more stuff to spread around, but they don't do nothing but shit on the game and act like it's terrible and stuff like that. And largely, it's a lot of it, a lot of it because, because I don't understand why people like, because I'm not good at it or I'm not the best at it or I'm not, this ain't the game for me. I'm just going to straight shit on it. Like, it is what it is. To me, this is one of the better 2Ks. A lot of people say it's boring and this and that, but I just feel like it's just one of the more balanced 2Ks without a lot of cheese. Now you see what people actually want in video games. They don't want nothing balanced. They don't want nothing straight up. They want something that has something that they can exploit over and over. And then when they exploit it over and over, then you can call yourself good and act like you're better than everybody else. You get tons of views and all this stuff. But you know, those guys came out of the woodwork and they played the game. Uh, most of them guys don't even play the game like that. Let's just keep it real. I know Annoying played a lot. I know Duke played a lot still, stuff like that. But we know Agent don't play the game. Um, Los Pollos, he probably played a game. We know Tassino plays. Davis plays for videos. Um, Troy Dan played for video. Most of them guys, they play for videos, man. They don't actually play the game and actually play the game. So, like I said, if, you're, if your number one content creators are behind something, they're going to be, you know, you're going to be straight, man. But it's really about content creation. Content creation drives the views and, and not actual gameplay and being proficient at such. So, it is what it is, man. Like I said, you take that with a grain of salt because... We can put on a tournament. We're not gonna pull that many. And it's not it's not just because of this, it's because those are the guys that have incredible followings and their followings follow them to watch them play the game. They just wanna see their favorite YouTuber play. So I mean, while it is something that's dope, that that two K got a lot of views, it's not something that's gonna happen again unless that particular set of people does it. And last but not least, man, speaking of this, man, Mike Lee tweeted <laughs> this out. He probably thinking about about protecting our family from COVID-19. Dude said, I can't believe this whole time I could have had a tiger for only two grand. You damn right. That's what I was thinking too. Where's my $2,000? I'm taking my, I'm going to take my doggone check. Give me my, give me my stimulus check. I'm going straight down there to Joe Exotic. I'm getting me a tiger. I'm getting me a tiger. I'm going to put it in the bike yard. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all got pit bulls and stuff in the in the thing. Y'all got the bullets. I, what what gonna happen when I pull up with a tiger on your ass? All hey, right. Actually, I went to University of South Carolina, so I'm actually contractually obligated to hate tigers for the rest of my life. But uh, you know, in this case, I might make an exception. Boy, I'm, I'm gonna go buy me a tiger and have some change left over on there. Anyway, man, let me get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. And uh, last but not least. Slide by the snow, man. Get you some. Get you a custom shirt. Or get one of the mini shirts that we got up here for y'all, man. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Links down in the description. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK and People's Chap. God, speed. Do your thing, Sid. Do your motherfucking thing.